Welcome to Wild Coffee Homestead. Charlotte and I got all our gardening done this morning before it hit 90 degrees. Now it's way too hot to be out in the garden, so I think we'll go inside and see if we can't find a project there. think of anything better to do than to come play in the kitchen when it is just so hot outside. We are in the end of October and we are still in the 90s making record highs. Um, I know there's those of you up north that are kind of wishing for some warm weather but this is just crazy. I had such an amazing time the other day doing my first fermentation of cabbage. I was scared. I was very 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 scared. I'm not sure why, but um, it just went awesome. Um, it's been a couple days now, and it appears that it's doing what it's supposed to. We have it in a nice, cool, dark place, and it's encouraged me to do the next step. So today, we're gonna be doing another fermentation of carrots. I've already, I've already washed the carrots, and then I peeled them, and I used Berkey water, filtered water, to wash them with. Same with the um, orange, lemon, and lime. We're going to be using the zest for that, so I wanted to make sure that was very clean. That's one thing um, with fermentation. You just don't want to have any unwanted bad bacteria in, in your uh, ferment. And then I also have ginger that we're going to be grating. So what we'll do is we'll start off by um, chopping up our carrots. We're going to make them, try to make them into spears, make them equal sizes. Chop these up. I am using organic carrots. I did not grow these. It is way too hot here to grow carrots yet. Um, we plan on putting some in the garden here in hopefully a month or a couple weeks. I think we have some cooler weather coming um, this weekend. So let's go ahead and chop some carrots up. cut up. I tried to make them um, the same size. Um, as I'm cutting, I can hear our little puppies running over here. Whenever we're chopping vegetables, they come running because they love to get vegetable handouts. So I have a couple here that we'll uh, treat our babies with. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Charlotte. for letting me take a second out to give our pups a treat. They just sit here and stare at me, so I figured might as well have saved a few more for them too. Um, so anyway, where were we? Got our carrots cut here, and now we have to um, zest a tablespoon of each the orange, lemon, and lime. So we're gonna zest away. I wish you guys could smell this. Between the lemon and the orange and the lime and the ginger, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Uh, 
anyway, um, I did want to mention to you that I did um, start my water ahead of time, a quart of spring water that's been filtered, and then two tablespoons of Himalayan pink sea salt. Heat it up and stir it around until it dissolves. So I have it um, cooling now, it's gotta cool down. So we're gonna wait a little bit for that to cool, and then we're gonna mix it all together and make some magic. Okay, our water, salt water brine has cooled now. When I made the cabbage the other day, it didn't require a salt water brine because the cabbage itself, when the salt was mixed in and it was kneaded, it made its own brine. But today, since we're doing carrots, we need to um, help it out and make a brine for it to sit in. So this is one quart of water, the spring water, like I mentioned, that's filtered, and two tablespoons of the Himalayan sea salt. What we'll do is we have our zested orange, lemon, and lime, and ginger. We're gonna add to the water. Smells so good. Whew. I'm getting excited about this one. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. tablespoons of maple syrup. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. I got this recipe from the Easy Fermenter lids that I ordered from um, Amazon. We'll put the link in the show notes. Sounded amazing. So I'll just stir that up a little bit. I couldn't decide which size jar. We have the quart or the half gallon size. So it looked like it was going to be kind of tight for the um, quart size. So I think we're going to put them all in the half gallon. Hopefully we have enough brine for it. Get that cinnamon mixed in there a little bit. put our carrots in. See if I can get them all to stand up nicely and cooperate. I've been enjoying um, the comments that you all have been making on the cabbage ferment. And I really appreciate when you can give me some suggestions or helpful hints or things that you've tried and loved. Somebody said that they, um, what they liked most was grapes or strawberries fermented. I would never have thought. So please feel free to um, comment. Give me some ideas because I'm on a roll here. I'm really getting into this fermenting thing. And I have been washing my hands and um, everything's been clean with soapy water, the jars and island and uh, cutting board, everything has been clean because it's very important that you keep everything clean. So now we're going to cover, got everything in there, we do. I'm going to go ahead and pour this over the carrots. any of 
that zest. Wipe off the top here. These are the easy fermenter lids. They have numbers up here that you can put the date so you can keep track of um, when you started it. These, I believe, uh, set about five to seven days, and since we are warm here, you might check it on the, the safe side of five days. Just screw it on. It has a little vent here on the top. Normally, you would have to, if you had a regular lid on here, you would have to open it every day to release some gas. But because it has the vent, we don't have to do that. So basically, I'm going to put it in the closet and uh, forget about it for about five days. I'm sure I will be peeking in there to see if it's making bubbles or doing anything interesting in there. But there we have it. Looking forward to the results. Hope you guys are enjoying this journey. And I really hope that this will inspire you guys to also, if you aren't already fermenting, to start. And if you do ferment, to get back on the bandwagon and um, get going with some fermenting. We're really looking forward to picking vegetables, carrots out of our garden later this winter and uh, fermenting those. Hope you guys have a great day and thank you for coming along today.